What is an earthquake? An earthquake occurs due to intense ground shaking caused by the sudden release of energy, which radiates outward from the epicenter in seismic waves. When stress in the Earth's crust surpasses the rock's strength, the rocks break along a fault line. The point deep beneath the surface where the earthquake starts is called the hypocenter, while the point directly above it on the surface is the epicenter. Earthquakes are common natural hazards, causing significant damage to human life and economies globally. The Earth consists of four main layers, the inner core, outer core, mantle, and crust. The topmost crust floats on the semi-solid mantle, and it is broken into large sections called tectonic plates. These plates are constantly in motion. Earthquakes primarily occur along plate boundaries when one tectonic plate collides with or slides beneath another in a process called subduction. The plates get stuck due to friction, and when the accumulated stress becomes too great, they slip, releasing energy in the form of an earthquake. The seismic waves released cause the ground to shake, and these waves can be classified into two types, body waves and surface waves. Body waves travel through the Earth's interior and include P waves, which move longitudinally, and S waves, which are transverse. Surface waves travel along the Earth's surface and cause the most destruction during an earthquake. With Rayleigh waves responsible for the ground rolling effect, scientists use seismographs to measure earthquakes. These devices capture the movement of the ground relative to a stable, suspended mass, providing data on the magnitude of the earthquake. The severity of earthquake damage to buildings depends on both the magnitude and local geological conditions. Soft ground, like floodplains, amplifies shaking, causing more destruction, while hard rock can reduce damage. Well-designed, reinforced buildings are more likely to withstand seismic forces. Earthquake-prone regions include the Circumpacific Seismic Belt, known as the Ring of Fire, which accounts for about 81% of global seismic activity, followed by the Alpine Earthquake Belt and the Mid-Atlantic Ridge.